Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Today, in our tutorial, we'll show some cool pearl necklace ideas. First, let's make an asymmetrical elastic necklace. We'll need black round elastic cord, jewelry pins, chain, two metal caps, and pearl beads of two different colors. Cut elastic cord into five parts of different sizes, each part shorter than the previous one. The longest cutout will be used later on. Carefully melt the cord ends. Gather the pieces reducing the length. Hot glue a pin to the joined cord ends. Add more hot glue. Put on a cap trying to attach the cords quickly until the glue is dry. Cut off the pin and make a loop. Use cutting and round nose pliers. Now, take the longest cord piece we haven't still used. Put on another cap in the same way. Cut off a pin and make a curl like we have done. Snip off the cord ends to fit the necklace size. Fray check. Cut off a pin leaving about 3 8 inches beyond the eye. Add the hot glue to the pin and tuck it into the cord end up to the eye. Repeat for the other pieces. Thread a bead onto a pin. Snip off the end and make a curl. Thread a bead of another color and make a loop. Repeat for other details alternating colors. Open a loop on the cord end. Put on a bead detail and close the loop. Add two more details in the same way, changing the colors. Fasten the bead details to the rest of the cords in the following way. The longer the elastic cord, the shorter the bead string. Let's join the two parts of the necklace. Pierce the longest cord with a sharp pin at 2 inches beyond the end. You can use an awl or a thick needle instead. Use flat pliers for moving the needle back and forth to widen the hole. Flatten the curl on the end of the bead of the top cord to pierce through the hole. Make a loop again to fasten the bead on the cord. Use this method to fasten the other bead details to the long cord to join the necklace. Add beads to the secure loops across a long cord alternating the colors. Form small pearl strings changing dark and light beads. Make the bottom string the longest 5 bead one. Reduce each next string by one pearl. Put two chain pieces on both sides of the necklace. Fasten a lobster clasp to the chain. This elegant asymmetrical elastic necklace will match both business suit and casual dress. Let's make a drop pearl necklace. We'll need jewelry pins, pearl beads of different size, chain, a filigree clasp, and a lobster clasp. Thread a bead on a pin. Cut off the excess pin beyond an inch or so from the pearl. Use cutting pliers. Make a loop at the end. Use round nose pliers. Prepare several similar details varying the pin length each time. Thus, we'll get different sized elements. Open a loop, put the detail onto a filigree clasp, and close the loop. Put on other bead elements in the same way. We've got a beaded bunch. Pass a jump ring through a hole on the other side of the clasp. Put a chain onto the open ring and close it. Cut off the excess. Put the last chain link on another ring. Add a lobster clasp. 
Fasten one more ring on the second chain end. Embellish the clasp with a metal stick by gluing it across the middle. The delicate drop pearl necklace will add a romantic look and match both daytime and evening outfit. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? The splendid pearl necklace ideas will enrich your jewelry collection as they are both stunning but different in style. Feel free to comment. Join us on the social links. Be sure to subscribe to Troom Troom channel and make various jewelries and accessories by following our step-by-step -step instructions. Use our tips and tricks to create beauty quickly and easily.